moving on now to question number six. This one is about City Hall. And David Sokhnaki, you've got the first shot at this one. The City's Disability Issues Committee is a key conduit between advancing accessibility and inclusion in Toronto and the members of City Council who make critical decisions. What would you do to improve the effectiveness of the Disability Issues Committee? Well, I think the absolute critical matter is to make sure that there's buy-in from Council so that it's not only the words, but actually that's the effectiveness. So I do want to make sure that I speak to Council to, to uh, bring forward the agenda. But in the short term, I think it's appropriate that it go on to the Executive Committee agenda, that the disability uh, issues go to the top, to the Executive Committee, and that those issues be dealt with uh, from, from the Mayor's own committee, so that uh, it's very clear to the City and to Council that those decisions bear the Mayor's support as they go forward to Council and to make sure that they happen. Karen Stintz. Thank you. I would do what I did as Chair of the TTC when I, we had the Advisory Committee on Accessible Transit. That committee met regularly, monthly, and every month they generated minutes, and I made sure that those minutes were sent to the TTC and accepted as part of the Commission agenda. So unlike David, who would have the minutes go to the Executive Committee, I would have the minutes go directly to Council to make sure that Council understands that the, these issues, they're not separate and apart from what we do as a city. They are a lens by which we make our decisions. And every decision that we make at the city has to consider the issues raised at the Disability Issues Committee. So that would be my commitment to you, that we would make sure that that agenda goes directly to City Council and that we consider those issues as we make our decision on every other matter in our agenda. John Tory. Uh, four things I, I look at doing. First of all, I think you have to broaden out the Disability Committee. Um, I think you have to make sure, without uh, trying to have every single kind of disability represented at the table, that more disabilities than are presently represented at the table are in fact there. Secondly, I think what you have to do is bring people to the meetings who are from places like the GTC. Heaven knows if they were sitting right there and were able to be asked, or they were able to ask the question, uh, you might have a situation like where you have these trains with a little gap between the platform and the train that makes it impossible for people in scooters to get on trains. Thirdly, I would bring the department heads of the city, one per meeting, one at a time, in and each meeting review their department. What are some of the issues? What are some of the problems? But seen through the lens of the people sitting on the committee. And finally, I would ask a senior official of the city to become, not for extra money and not an extra person, to become one who, someone who coordinates this and who asks each and every day and makes sure each and every day that every department of the city is focused on these issues when any, any decisions or projects are undertaken. I love you, Joe. I would do three things. Number one, we need to increase the frequency of meetings. Right now it meets four times a year. It need both counselor, right now there's one, uh, counselors and senior staff on it so that uh, when accessibility issues come out, um, it need to meet at least something like six times a year. Secondly, I would direct that when project possibly affecting accessibility issues comes up, that the committee be requested and they have to go to the committee and seek their advice and input. Number three, I'll meet directly with the committee at least twice a year so I can hear their concerns. Thank you, candidates.